coming to the dump this is what I found so far this big green I think it's 1919 a little blue bottle a Ma's old-fashioned root beer it says um, Mound Zill on it an Atlas Mason and back in here I raked out my first filmable thing it's gonna be a bully ball mason that's right there Ooh, wonder what this says it looks like maybe Atlas and man the lid still even on it oh yeah all oh, these ones I have are clear this is a Atlas strong shouldered mason look at the bubbles in the glass oh wow it's blue it says it has a lot of markings on the bottom um bd maybe and then a number but man that's nice it's blue glass it's light blue wow i love it that's pretty nice um i haven't been doing too hot but i'm finally in a spot here that is starting to produce some stuff this will get right in my collection right on my shelf because i don't have a blue one so we're good that's a good find for me got something for my collection later fix all right you can see this here this piece cleaned up beautifully it's an atlas strong shoulder mason and the bottom says sick six b space d and look there's bubbles all in it you can see them there it's a really nice light blue kind of I don't have any blue and say so this one with a new old cap from that same dome it looks good well, anyway later Well, fakes, my dry streak's over. I just got something awesome from the Ohio Valley history. Um, I've been finding a bunch of old milks that are all broke. And this was down in, curved in the back of that hole like this, upside down. And I pull it out, and it's absolutely perfect. And on it, it says St. Mary's, West Virginia. And this is, they had marble factories there, too. It says, Joyce, J-O-Y, apostrophe S, Creamery. St. Mary's, West Virginia. Oh, this is nice. It is nice. Joy's Creamery. Man, that's old. 1940s or before. A local small dairy. Joy's Creamery, St. Mary's. And that's not a very big town. This ought to be pretty a pretty good one. Pretty nice milk. Wow, folks. What a find. I'll put up information if I can find it, which I doubt it. Later. I'm on to good stuff now folks check out this old foot cork top flask look how nice that is it's a really unique shape and it's perfect that is nice it's a shame it didn't have embossing on it but it's a good one find them all day long that'll look nice in my collection nice for free later all right I was cleaning out that cave in it just caved in and on the way out I raked out two uh, ink wells just seconds apart um, they're old ink things. They're cool cork top. Anyway, folks, there's two of them. I'm not having a bad day. Later. I'm looking on other parts of the dump. I haven't been on for months. There's a coke laying right out. We got lots of erosion and cave-ins up here. It's perfect. It says Sistersville, West Virginia. So I got me a coke. 
probably from the 19, late 30s to up to about World War II. It'll be dated, but that's nice. Later. Hey, here's what I got this trip. Got a couple ink wells. Um, I got this uh, nice Atlas Strong Shoulder Mason, and it's blue glass, and it's nice. It's marked up on the bottom. Got some big green beers and a smaller green beer here, and a Coke, old cork. Some of these Atlas Masons, nothing major, but you know, a few good things. Some blue glass, and the find of the day will be this uh, one quart milk. It says Joyce Creamery, St. Mary's, West Virginia. So I got a nice piece from my collection. It's been raining a bunch, the river's flooded. I can't look for arrowheads. The ground's way too wet. Um, I only stayed like an hour and a half up here, but I got some cool things. I love that milk. Anyway, I'll get back on my next one. Later.